Good. This is a typical question involving combined events uh, with regards to probability. And don't worry, I'm going to read it out yet because you probably can't read my handwriting. Uh, that's a disadvantage. I studied history, uh, political science, and we write like this, okay? So, I'm going to read it for you. A bag contains 12 white, 6 black, and 2 red counters. Yeah. If, when a counter is taken out, it is not replaced, calculate the probability that the first counter is white, the second counter is red, and the first one is black, a white and a black counter. All right. Oh, there's a lot of important information here. I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight that. You always do that. Um, first of all, I have 12 white counters, six black ones, and two red ones. And just put a little rectangle around that. Okay. And I know already it's gonna be important to know so how many counters are in this bag. So I'm just gonna do the addition already. 12, 18, so 20. I'm gonna put here so I have 20 counters in total. All right. But now, this is important. If, when a counter is taken out, you do not replace it. So it's taken out and you put it on the side of the table. It's not being put back into the bag. Okay, that's very important. Calculate the probability. Well, that the first counter is white. Now, I'm gonna do it on a fresh piece of paper. Uh, that the first counter is white. Now, how many successes do you have? How many white ones do you have? Yeah, you have 12 white ones out of 20. Um, possibilities, so 12 out of 20, yeah? And that's the answer. You could simplify that if you like. You don't have to. Uh, 3 over 5, yeah? 60% chance, if you like. Um, you don't have to. And that is still an independent event happening. Just one thing happening, getting a white counter out of that bag. But now the second question. You have to do two things. The second counter has to be red, and the first one has to be black. What is the chance of that happening? So, let me just write that. So, P of the first one has to be black. So, I'm saying black followed by, what did I just say? Red. Yeah? So, again, back to the question. The second counter is red and the first one is black. So, they don't just say a black and a red one. No, it really is specific order. A red and before that, a black, even if you turn it around. So it has to start with a black one and then followed by a red one. Now that is a combined event. So we're gonna start looking at the first one. What is the chance of getting a black one? So that is six black ones out of 20. You see how useful this is if you put a little box around that? So six out of 20. So I take one out and I have a chance of six out of 20 that it's black. But what about the red one now? Well, I have two successes, yeah? Two successes out of, and how many counters in total? And now it's important that you understand that it is not replaced. So if I take a black one out first and I put it on the table, and I'm going to put my hand in the bag again, I only have 19 counters left, because that one black one is aside, okay? Combine events, you do the multiplication, 6 times 2 uh, is 12, and 20 times 19 is 380, okay? And again, you can simplify it if you want, but with probability, you don't have to, okay? But it's important now, because you do not replace that counter, it is 2 out of 19, okay? With the chance of getting a red one. Good. Question C. What is the probability you get a white and a black counter? Now, please distinguish between question C and question B. Question B, the order was important. They specifically say black and then red. And for question C, they say white and a black one. So that could be a white and then a black one. But that is also fine if you have a black and then a white one. I hope you agree with me. Yeah. Well, let's do this one first. What is the chance of a white and then a black one? Well, 12 out of 20 for the white times and then black is 6 out of 90. Okay, so that is 72 out of 380. That is the chance of getting a white and then a black one. However, if the order doesn't matter, yeah, a white and a black one, 
Uh, if the order doesn't matter, then I can also have this chance. Yeah? So first a black one, so six out of 20 times, and then a white one, uh, which is 12 out of 19, and that equals as well to 72 over 360. So what is the chance now of getting a white and a black counter? Yeah, and the order doesn't matter, then you add these two. Okay, so if I will just continue here, um, I hope you can still see that on the, on the video camera. This is one lottery ticket, if you like. That's another one. I have two chances of getting a, a white and a black counter. So my final answer now is 72 over 360 plus 72 over 360, or you times it by two if you like which is 144. Did I say 360? It's 380, yeah? I'm, I apologize. It's 144 over 380. All right. So again, you have combined events, yeah? But you have two options, a white and a black one, but equally as good is a black and a white one. You find out the probability for each individual event, and then you add them because both of them are good. Okay, for question B, the order was specified in the question, well then you only have one option, it has to be black and then red. Please be careful when they do not replace those counters or beads, whatever the question is, back into the bag, yeah, then your total amount decreases. Okay, um, we're going to talk about three diagrams in the next video, I'll see you there.